It's week six of the National Football League. happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And they are let out there by their mobile quarterback. After seeing what he did last week, throwing four touchdown passes, I had to go to my thesaurus to try and come up with some great words for what he did. I'm still coming up blank. He was scintillating. I'm, I'm going simple. I don't, I don't have your thesaurus. I'm going dynamite. He was dynamite. I'll take it. A carry by Taylor to strike the drive. Yeah, boy, and it's tough to bring him down that time. He surges forward. He's going to get a full six out of that. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. 16 carries, 89 yards, and a touchdown. After the last game, they have plenty of reason to be confident in their running game. And even though they're facing a top-10 defense, they're not going to shy away from doing what they do best. Make them adjust to them. Make them stop what they do before they go to any type of a changeup. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Richardson looking to throw this. Right back to Pitts again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Second and a couple. Richardson to throw off play action. And the man open here is strong. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. To the right side, this is Taylor. Down to about the 37. You talk about this Titan defense coming into this one ranked number 19 in the NFL against the Pats. And even though that's not the greatest ranking in the world, one thing you can say, they get after the quarterback. They're in the top 10 in the league in sacks. Now it's Richardson. Throw left side complete. That's Moss. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Richardson. And that is incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Again, it's Richardson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. Uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And that would have been incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Now Richardson. And he's got his target. 
and it's caught for a Colts touchdown. Kyle Pitts with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts are on the board first here this afternoon. A long opening drive, but a very successful opening drive. We call that methodical, I guess, when it takes that many plays. Methodical and almost like a boxing match where you're hitting them with body blows. They can withstand them here. Look, they gave up the touchdown, but you don't feel like a knockout is there. But they keep doing that in the fourth quarter. That's when the knockout occurs. And it becomes tough for that defense if they're on the field that long. We'll see if they can continue that in future drives. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So now the Titans get their first shot on offense. And a look here at their signal caller, the fifth-year quarterback. And they are in rhythm on offense because of him. I mean, right now, he's got everything going the way he wants to, finding the receivers the way he wants to, looking over defenses. No interceptions is the number I lock in on before a touchdown pass isn't so bad either. Yeah, what a game he had last week. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Defense gets up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Here's second and 10. Powell rolling to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A few issues here on the offensive line, apparently. He got sacked five times last week. They got to him here in the first quarter. And I would think that running the ball would be paramount here because it's a different team they're facing, but they watch the film as well. So they'll take many of those same principles and try and apply them in this game to see if they fixed what was wrong with them in the last game. Uh, fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on the punt. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Fielded at the 20. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Now Jonathan Taylor and the Colts offense retake center stage. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here into week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. They are because one of the adages in the NFL is that defense travels and defense endures even in bad weather, right? You know what else does? A good running game. And people want that, especially as you head down the stretch. You may play outdoors in some nasty stuff. You're trying to get to the playoffs. This is the time to get it going. And individually, I don't think you should just think about 1,000 yards either. The bar has to be set higher with this beginning. It's a gain of 34. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. Richards into the air on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now a second and ten. And yeah, Richardson yet again. A quick throw there is incomplete. He was looking to get it to Jonathan Taylor there. But now it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Wide open receiver complete. 
And the Colts are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Taylor. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Colts have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. At their own 18-yard line. First down, how to throw. That'll be complete to a Conquo. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now a second and two. The 26-yard line. Al, he'll look to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, man, they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with a pick six. And it's absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team, right? And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is they can add on a couple more scores. This one could legitimately be over in the second quarter. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Titans set and ready to go on offense. Now they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. How's that's taken in by Akakuo. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards to go, second down. At the 47 yard line. A handoff. Jacobs running to the left. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Third and two, here's Hal. He's got his target, that's complete. Touchdown, Titans! Cortland Sutton, 54 yards. And the Titans get a bit closer. Well, since we don't have a rooting interest in this one, neither one of us wanted to see this one get out of hand too early. Here we are in the first quarter. That was an important response for them to score already down 21. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to seven. A drive there of just four plays. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it 
at the 25. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. That would a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. A pretty wild first quarter. 21-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. Richardson working from the gun. Being chased out left. Now he's into the clear again. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man covers are so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the shotgun, Richardson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. And he is caught. And the Colts are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, Indianapolis. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run. I am. And you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation. Because second down, that gives me an option of running play action. Maybe throwing it. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four. But that's about all. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. There, Richardson back to throw it. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts' touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Colts have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now Cortland Sutton and the rest of the offense getting ready for their next drive. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Throwing on second and long. Powell. And that is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Powell able to find the open man. That's complete. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Off play action. It's Hal. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. 
Jacobs going to try the middle. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Al throwing on first down here. He finds his man complete. It's Jacobs. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. On first down, Al. Same target. It's Jacobs again. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. It's second and eight at the Colts' 29-yard line. Now looking to throw again. Going for it all. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Brings up third down and eight yards to go. Now they go play action with Hal. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Holding offense. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No. Not at all. The kick by Elliott is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So here are the Colts to take over. They were victorious a week ago over Philadelphia. They lead here as well as they start out first and ten. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The Colts on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. The Colts send out their punter as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is fielded at the 27. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and it'll be Titan football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. Al now to throw it. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. Faking the handoff, Howell. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. He completes this to Sutton. So no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. With a play fake, and now here's how to throw it. Open man, and again it's Sutton. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Throw to the right, caught by Akakwo. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. At the Another throw for Hal. And he fires one incomplete. 
They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Back to throw. Howell. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And this taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. The Colts going to take over now late in this first half. But just inside of a minute left, Charles. they got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit. But you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Richardson looking to throw this. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then Got a man, it's caught inside the ten. And they move this all the way down to the nine. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back to the air with Richardson. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. And Gay knocks this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll get you... Well, we'll move right through the break then, skipping halftime and back to the field for the start of the second half. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. At their own 20-yard line. On the ground, Jacobs will get the third quarter started. There he goes, right side. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Once again, it's Jacobs. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Counter play with Jacobs. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing here, Howell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 37. Now he'll look to throw it. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Here's second and three. Powell. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A gain of 10 yards. That's another Titans first down. 
first and 10 at the 20 yard line. And once more, Hal back to the air. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Colts are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20 yard line. First and 10 at their own 20 yard line. First and 10, it's Richardson. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Short throw caught by Pitts. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and five. Richardson looking to throw. Throw right side, going to be complete to Moss. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. It's a gain of six. First down, Colts. Richardson. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. It's now second and six at the 48 yard line. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 38 yard line. It's a gain of 10. And the Colts first down. Richardson out of the shotgun. They'll find his man. That's Taylor again. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Colts are able to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. Oh, how loses it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. from the gun he's got his target that's complete and he'll be out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 here's Jacobs on first and 10 and he can only manage to get a couple second and eight coming up here's a second and eight brings up second and eight at their 49 yard line Here's Hal. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And Hal will throw it. Forced out to, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. 
Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant. Keep throwing it around. First and 10, Taylor now. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 46, here's the second and eight. It's second and eight. Now Richardson back to throw it. Got this complete to the tight end pits. Will go down as a gain of six. And now two yards to go on third down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. A solid pickup of five and a very solid fourth down conversion and defensively pure frustration. Back to Taylor on first down. Down to about the 32. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. This now a third and four. Brings up third and down. Now it's Richardson. That is caught. Touchdown. A great play there. 29 yards. And the Colts are looking to run it to 5-1 on the season as they end their fourth quarter lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Now a stoppage, and looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And that will bring up second down. No gain on the play. Second and 10 at the 28-yard line. Al now to throw it. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Colts are going to have it here just past.
But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get?